Earth, My First 4.54 Billion Years by Stacy McNulty, illustrated by David Litchfield. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or the third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Mercury, Venus, Pluto. Happy Holidays! I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun. That takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive. Gassy. Very cranky. Baby Earth. Then I started to cool off. And things got wet. Really wet. It rained for thousands of years. I'm not kidding. Thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangaea. Pangaea split into seven separate continents. North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, Australia, Antarctica. Things are always changing. As I got older, stuff began to grow. Life. Almost half my life. You probably wouldn't even recognize me, though I've always been round. Two billion, four hundred million years ago. Air. If anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. 470 million years ago. Plants that can live on land. 400 million years ago. And then came bugs. Bzzz. 240 million years ago. My first dinosaur. 210 million years ago. Yay for mammals. They're fuzzy and warm. 150 million years ago. Birds. Did you know they are relatives of dinosaurs? 130 million years ago. Flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. It's not bragging if it's true. 200 million years ago. Homo sapiens. You humans have big brains and walk on two feet. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years. Until... Asteroid! It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. Crust, mantle, inner core, outer core. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. But sometimes, humans forget to share and play nice and clean up after themselves. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things. We love you, Earth. Dear alien visitors, thank you for reading this book. I'm a bit of an expert on the subject of Earth because I've lived here my entire life. I think Earth is the greatest planet in the solar system. And that's not just because it's the only one with breathable atmosphere. I do like air. We also have ice cream and books, which are some of my favorite things. Perhaps you'd like to learn even more about Earth. Perhaps you're considering making Earth your second home, so you can visit during your summer vacations. Here are some additional fun facts about our great planet. 
enjoy. Sincerely, Stacy McNulty, author and earthling. P.S. I've made every attempt to bring you an accurate, brief, and entertaining history of planet Earth. However, scientists are making new discoveries all the time, and they sometimes make mistakes. I do too. Earth has many secrets, and I hope we can continue learning about her awesome past. Continents Continents are huge chunks of land, sometimes separated by water. Today, we have seven, Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America. Some nations and scientists consider Europe and Asia one continent called Eurasia. Earth wasn't always made up of the magnificent seven. Some early continents include Ur, Canorland, Nuna, Rodinia, and Pangaea, which was one huge continent that covered a third of the Earth and eventually broke apart to form today's continents. Not all geologists agree on the formation and timing of these continents. It would have been easier if there were cameras millions of years ago, but the scientists do agree that Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates that are still moving. The North American plate and Eurasian plate are moving apart at the mid-Atlantic ridge on the ocean floor at a speed of about one inch per year. If you come back in a million years, Earth may look quite different. Location Earth resides in the Milky Way, along with billions of other planets and suns, at least 100 billion suns. Our solar system has only one sun, eight planets, five dwarf planets, and about 150 moons. Earth is approximately 93 million miles from the sun, but this varies slightly depending on the time of year. The planets in order from the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Lucky for me, my fellow humans, and all the other animals and plants, Earth is a great hostess. She provides air, water, food, and shelter. However, every so often she goes through changes that make life difficult, impossible even. There have been five major extinctions. Ordovician Silurian extinction, 440 million years ago. This had a major impact on marine life. It was probably caused by a severe ice age. Late Devonian extinction, 360 million years ago. About 75% of all species disappeared. Permian extinction, 250 million years ago. This has been named the Great Dying because more than 90% of Earth's species were destroyed. Triassic Jurassic extinction, 200 million years ago. No clear cause for this extinction but it managed to wipe out about 76% of life on Earth. Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction, 66 million years ago. Bye-bye dinosaurs. Theories suggest a deadly combination of volcanic activity, climate change, and an asteroid impact on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula.